This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling nine to five employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for, the American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ, I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and undiscovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. I'm gonna need some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but 
I ought to find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. Ah, the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. I think I need something else to add a message here. I think I need something else to add a message here. The ideal utensil to communicate myself to the masses. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. Hi, you have any jobs I can dirty my hands with? Yeah, maybe you can give my rims a spit polish. Get lost. Rats. Can't get discouraged yet, though. This is only the beginning of my job search. Coming through. Excuse me, do you happen to need any dirty services performed? If you were getting paid to be a dirty beggar, you'd be filthy rich. Damn, no luck there. But I can feel I gainful bad. employment coming my way. Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. Look, if you really want to work, just huh? go see that below guy at the job agency. Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I better check out this job agency place. I hope the pay is good. Let's see. Ah, there it is. One side.
Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? No, no, please. Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now, wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then. I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry, it's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. You'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just... Moron. Chase him down, boys. Taze him! Oh, yeah, baby. Put to the head. Stomp harder. Whoa! Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch who you're stinking up on, punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone. So, another wannabe Flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. It is in this domain I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize yourself with your tools. Unfortunately, they won't let us use real prisoners anymore. Now check the open locker for your first piece of equipment, rookie. That is your standard in this form of pacification is lethal. Meaning enough hits will eventually make your target very not alive. Don't forget we're getting paid by the head, so don't have too much fun on watch. We your duties early, are we? Then gather the rest of your equipment and get going on your patrol. Double timing. Damn things. Rookie, you hear me? I have a new assignment for you. I've forgotten my damn password, so I can't do a damn thing from here. I'm gonna need you to head to the central security hub to enter the reset code.
about some kind of major malfunction, no nuts? Move it to the central hub. Central Security Hub, rookie. Wait, 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 hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is... Ah, shit! You just activated the emergency prison release! What's up, man? Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first. Ah, that's the stuff. I don't think that's supposed to bend that way. Get here! Ow! Ow! There's no 
nothing like a good bout of indiscriminate meat. Get the day going. Ow! Security overrides complete. Heads up, ladies. The cavalry's arrived. Piece of cake. Cell block secured. Lockdown lifted. Tell you these boys know how to crash a party? And don't worry, I remember to tell them you were in here too, rookie. Yeah, I'll bet. Now how about the pay for my exemplary efforts? Don't worry about that either, rookie. Your recruiter got in touch, and I made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him. Oh, great. Trust me, you did a service worthy of every cent. Unfortunately, your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future. But cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here.
I'm your new wildlife reclamation expert. Ah, you must be the boy Billow sent it. Just in time. I was feeling a bit peckish. I'm this town's local animal catcher and you're my new associate. We've got a quota of specific wildlife to meet today and I'm busy in here doing, uh, processing. So you'll be handling the legwork. Now tell me, do you have any past experience with handling felines? In a manner of speaking, yes. Excellent. Then you know the best way is to grab them by the pussy. Cats. You gotta grab those pussy cats to collect it. When you bring any cats back, just dump them in that chute over there. You understand? Seems simple enough. We also got a dog quoted to me. Grabbing them doesn't work so well. So maybe you could try those dog treats over there to make them friendly to you. When you bring them here, lead them into that feeding station. I'll take care of the rest. You got that? Uh... Excellent. Oh, uh, and, uh, by the way, there's no trouble in bringing back any wildlife DOA. Dead? Is that what that means? <laughs> well, fresh or not, the quota's a quota. Now hurry up. I can feel my stomach grumbling. That cat name might help you with catching those cats. Just try not to inhale too much of the stuff. Things get mighty weird. Like meats back on the menu. Hey, take as many of those dog treats as you like. My mouth is warm. That's it for the dogs. Now you just have to finish up the cat quota. God damn cats. That's the last of the cats. Well, I, uh, suppose I should be praising your animal wrangling abilities, but now that I think about it, I wasn't expecting such, uh, fresh specimens. All these live catches are looking mighty unhappy. Maybe I can make my exit right about now.
Are you? Look out, Jack. Hey. That's her and implode. Look out, Otto. One side. Is this a visitor I see here before me? So are you picking up or dropping off? Uh, I'm here for the job. And what job is that? Subsurface sanitation attendant. <laughs> that must have been a typo. You're a sewer worker, bud. A crack cleaner. A shit shoveler. You'll be waiting knee deep in the excrement of this town's fine citizens. But don't think your hard work is going unappreciated. I'm sure the people up there are thinking of us real thankful like every time they do their business. Now. The jobs you're gonna do are real simple for real simple folk like yourself. I'd help you, but I got a break coming up. Just head through that door, and I'll keep in contact over the radio. Also, if you see any of them other schmucks I sent earlier, tell them they're fired. Oh, and by the way, there's some pretty lethal materials down there. The kind of stuff that'll kill you real quick. So don't forget to put on your hazardous environment suit. But I don't have a hazardous environment. Quit wasting time, son. You're on the clock now. Ah, fuck! Well, well, is this a visitor I see here before me? So are you picking up or dropping off? Uh, I'm here for the job. And what job is that? Subsurface sanitation attendant. <laughs> that must have been a typo. You're a sewer worker, bud. A crack cleaner. A shit shoveler. You'll be waiting knee deep in the excrement of this town's fine citizens. 
But don't think your hard work is going unappreciated. I'm sure the people up there are thinking of us real thankful like every time they do their business. Now, the jobs you're gonna do are real simple for real simple folk like yourself. I'd help you, but I got a break coming on. Just head through that door and I'll keep in contact over the radio. Also, if you see any of them other schmucks I sent earlier, tell them they're fired. Oh, and by the way, there's some pretty lethal materials down there. The kind of stuff that'll kill you real quick. So don't forget to put on your hazardous environment suit. But I don't have a hazardous environment. Quit wasting time, son. You're on the clock now. That really does liven up the place. Oh. Ah! Nice hit! Oof! I guess it only takes one of me to screw in a light bulb. Hallelujah. Let there be light. Far out, man. Hmm, taste rough. <laughs> Oh. 
Ow! Live, piss, die, repeat. Ow! Ah. Hey, you want to trade for this thing I found floating in the water? I guess it only takes and let there hey. be light. This is my apartment. Ah. Make a donation?
go on! Watch out for those Crap! That light bulb just a little too high for you, Shorty. Try piling some things up to get a better reach. Oh, that really does what Hallelujah. That's the stuff. Ain't nearly as tasty as it sounds. 
Zap boot. Wanna make a donation? Ow! Here, catch. Better than a laxative. Now that's a lot of shit. Must have had Taco Bell. Ooh, that looks satisfying. <laughs> 